everyone, it's Kylie. Today um, is going to be a kind of relaxed video. As you can see, I am in my pajamas and I don't have makeup on. So uh, already this is going to be just kind of a little sit down and talk video. It is going to be a huge update video. I'm just going to tell you what's been going on for the past few weeks because I, um, I need to get everything out of my I have missed my video mark twice already. I've been really bad at, about uploading videos lately. I have been working on getting my license all summer, my um, cosmetology license for work. I have already been a hairstylist for about five months. No, four, four months. <laughs> and I've been working on clients full time. I don't have my license yet because you're allowed to be a hairstylist, at least in the state of Virginia, if you have your certificate of completion and the salon that you're working under has a license for um, to allow someone without a license to work um, with supervision. And uh, I mean, they trust me. Like I've been doing hair for years now on my own and just kind of figuring it all out. And I picked up in the program really fast and I took my theory which is the written exam well, uh, multiple choice and then the practical was a whole nother thing I can probably get into I have to look up the uh, rules about talking about it online though because I don't know how much I can really say but yeah um, that test was so scary <laughs> and hard and then um, this weekend I went to a tattoo convention for the first time I'm actually going to be sh uh, posting a vlog of that probably the week after this video is made. I got cicada wings for my parents and I got a tree for me. Um, I will make a whole video about my tattoos very soon because I've, I'm going to slow my roll a bit. I got a lot uh, done um, in the past two years so I'm going to stop and make a video before I get more. So my cat is um, very, very sick right now. She's really sick and it's it's so frustrating. I'm like, I, I get very emotional about it because she's my first pet that um, has been truly mine. Like, pretty much um, when I was about in fourth grade, I can't remember if it was the summer before or after fourth grade, but it was roughly around fourth grade that I met Ellie. Spotted her meowing under our deck, and she was so tiny we thought she was a kitten. And we, um, I started feeding her cereal, and uh, of course she stayed. And we don't really know where she came from, but in the beginning she was terrified of men. So we thought that maybe she was abused by a male, possibly. Um, or she was just scared of a bigger person because she only hung out with me and I was a very small little girl. About three weeks ago, she stopped eating. She lost her appetite and that's so unlike her. Like, she eats a lot. Like, we have to hold her back from her food sometimes because she'll, like, basically inhale it. She just eats until she can't she can't breathe like it's crazy um, she was an outdoor cat for quite a while I don't remember how long but she went missing for a whole month and she came back uh, with broken hips so like her pelvis was separated so she waddles we decided to bring her inside because whether we spent a lot of money on surgery for a cat or not she would be in pain for the rest of her life either way so we brought her inside and we saved money and didn't get her um, surgery. Did really well inside. She's safe. She doesn't have to defend herself or jump. Um, we wouldn't let her on the furniture because my mom and I are allergic to cats, but over, over beyond 10 years of being around her, I have adapted to her dander. But if I go to someone else's house, I'm going to sneeze all over the place because I'm not used to their cat standard. It's kind of crazy. But um, Ellie is jaundice right now. 
the inside of her ears and if you part her part her fur um, if you look at her nose and if you look in her eyes her skin is extremely bright yellow that is jaundice and that is usually a sign of liver disease in a cat and um, we also think she might have chipped her tooth she's been picky for a little bit longer than that about chewing her food and then ever since then she only will eat liquidy foods that she can lap up with her tongue but she's been really bad lately she started off by hiding under everything like she would hide under my bed she would hide in the blue room's bed she would hide under everyone's bed my mom's bed um, anywhere that she could hide to be away from people and it really scared us because I know that if a cat's hiding they might know they're dying but she's so weak like she she lost so much weight like I can feel her little spine and it's so sad she feels lighter like I am I have always been the only one that was able to pick her up in my family and every time I pick her up now she's like a doll in my hands and uh, she was never like that she was always a fighter she was always the type of cat that didn't want to be held or pet. She just wasn't a cuddler. She wouldn't want to be held, you know? So she always fought. She always had some kind of resistance or push back to her muscles. Um, and when you put her down, she immediately springs up and runs away or something. So uh, lately, if I pick her up, she's just like... And like, I put her down and her legs just give out underneath her and her legs just drag behind her and I'm like... I've never seen a cat in this state and it's terrifying. Like she has no energy at all. Oh, hello. Hello. She's still beautiful. She's always been beautiful. But she might have to get put down tomorrow. And I'm really, really scared. Um, I just, I know that I'm not ready for her to die. I'm not ready to lose my cat. Because I know, the thing is I know I'm going to be moving out of this house soon. Within months to come. Um, and I just... I know I'm not going to get another cat, and I just feel like I'm going to really miss having her around, and we have a pet cemetery in the backyard, and I mean, I know exactly where I would put her, um, near the pumpkins. We've got pumpkins growing in our backyard right now. Yeah, this morning, Ellie, I got to work at 11 a.m., I came home around 8, and by now, I mean, she hadn't been to the bathroom, she hadn't eaten, she hadn't drank, threw up everywhere after I fed her and gave her water and um, I had to clean her up, wipe her down. She also peed herself at the same time because she won't do those things unless you take her to her litter box or you put the water right in front of her face or you give her that little bowl of her little wet food and hold it for her. When I put the water bowl in front of her, she just rests her head on the edge. Like she's just not there. But um, tonight she, I, I picked her up as soon as I got home after, after moving the bed to get her from under my bed. She, um, I knew she hadn't used the bathroom. So the first thing I did was I picked her up. I took her downstairs and we were, we were like three yards away from the the litter box and she peed all over me so she just couldn't make it and um i just lost my shit i was like this is this is not good like my cat is deteriorating and i don't know what to do and i know it's normal i know it's life and i know that everybody in the world deals with this I'm just young and this is my first real childhood pet. Now, I, di I did have guinea pigs from when I was about four or five to what, seven maybe? 
What are you doing? But they weren't really my pets. Because I wasn't the one that fed them. I was too young to really care for them. I played with my dolls. You know, I, I wanted guinea pigs, and they were my guinea pigs, but I didn't have the same connection as I did with Ellie. I found her myself. I fed her myself. I, I, I feel like I saved her life by giving her love and giving her a home. She was an outdoor cat, and when we found her, she was a year old, but she looked like a kitten. And, um, she's always had a tiny frame, but she's always been sweet. Just kind of introverted. She didn't, you know, she's never been affectionate, and that's okay. I don't know what her life was like before I met her. All I'm trying to do now is comfort her and make sure she's okay and make sure she has a good life for the rest of her life. Um, I've been looking back at it and I'm trying to figure out if she's either 12, 13, or 14. There's a possibility she's 14, but she definitely wouldn't be 15. Um, I like to think she's 14 even though I've been claiming 13 to my clients uh, because she... I don't know, I, I'm just... it snuck up on me because I've always just felt like, oh I have a cat. I have a cat and she's healthy and she's a normal age. And then this year it kinda hit me that I'm like, I have an old cat. I have like a 14, 13, 14 year old cat. They can last up to 20. I've seen cats that are 20, but it <laughs> the cat looks like shit. Like, I mean, it it was shaking. It could barely walk. Like, like I highly doubt a normal cat would live till 20. It's a good cat that would live till 20, but um, Ellie's not a normal cat. Ellie went through a lot. Ellie got hit by a car. She got raped by multiple male cats at once. She got pregnant and then we didn't know and when she when we took her to get fixed they told us afterwards that she already had something. Um, she almost had kittens. I was too young to really understand all that I guess but um, She's had friends and enemies, and she's been a happy house cat. She's lived her life as a nomad. I mean, yeah, she like she got hit by a car. That's crazy. She's survived raccoon attacks multiple times. Like, she's a badass cat. I'm really proud to be her owner. I've always considered her my sister. She really is my baby. I just really needed to rant to my camera about this. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna make a video of me taking her to the vet and it may be really emotional for me, but I need to do it. But yeah, um, whatever happens, I'm, I'm hoping for the best thing ever. They'll say, just keep feeding her and she'll get better. Um, I just want them to do anything they can to make her comfortable. To make her feel okay. Um, and other than that... I'll make sure, yeah, I'll just, I'll make sure she passes knowing she's loved, if that's what we have to do, but I'm gonna keep fighting. Um, 
Um, I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I know it's not fancy or anything, but sometimes I just need to talk to my camera. Um, and after this, I'm going to edit the vlog for you guys to watch. And hopefully that will be uploaded right after this video. So, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay epic and um, whatever you believe in, pray for my cat. Just keep her in your heart, I guess. She's an amazing cat. <laughs>